Okay, so this is another week of the Weekly Engage. And Lance and I are wearing our, our Barstown Strong t-shirts. Lance, show your t-shirt. There we go. And this is, uh, we talked about this last week with Randy and Samantha. These t-shirts are a fundraiser uh, that we are doing together to do some promotion on getting our businesses back up and running. And so you can check out our Facebook to find the link. We sold, I think, 50 just in the first day of wow. the shirts. That's awesome. So it's going it's, really, it's, really good. There's plenty of time. Really neat, you know, the all yeah. the logos. And, and we also have this one, bourbon, bourbon, bourbon. So you can pick out three designs, three different colors. I'm wearing the gray and you're wearing the green. And so they can find that on our Facebook. Um, so we have just a couple of announcements this week. And that is that um, I sent out an email to all of our membership and it's on our website. And that is regarding Mayor Heaton put out a statement on businesses reopening. So we encourage everybody to look and read at that. We also sent out a survey regarding PPE. So the protective, personal protective equipment that people need. Um, as of today, May 11th, people will be required to wear masks in the workplace. So information on that. So if businesses are in need of PPE, they can take that survey and make a request and we will, we will definitely try to help them out. Um, the mayor and uh, NCEDA are working to make that happen. So uh, we're just trying to get the information to them so that we can make that happen. And then I think Lance, you had a couple updates. Yeah, just one brief update. The, the, in this last week, the uh, funding resources associated with um, the, you know, the financial supports for businesses out there has been a little bit less um, active than what it has been in, in previous weeks. But uh, one thing that I did want to mention is, is that the most recent numbers uh, from, from what we've been told um, on the Paycheck Protection Plan um, there's still $150 billion left of that. And so um, the money is still available. So if you all are, um, if you all are, are struggling to meet your, um, you know, set expenses um, or are going to see increased in um, um, increased expenditures in the reopenings and the limitations associated with that, um, make sure that you reach out to your lender. Uh, and talk to them about it because um, these loans, based on if you based on some set criteria, if you use them for 75% of it for uh, payroll, it can be forgiven. And then the other 25%, if it's used on certain expenses such as utilities, etc., um, that it can be forgiven. So essentially, it's free money for our membership. So if you all have not uh, taken the time to research the Paycheck Protection Plan, make sure you visit the Chamber's website. There's information on there regarding that. Um, and it's a de definitely uh, an easy process and most of the lenders in our community are familiar with it and they're eager to help you out with it. So um, that's pretty much the, the update I have on that front for us this week. Good. And we also, we're going to talk with Christine Shelton today with ECTC. And so uh, they have some uh, exciting news for us as well. So uh, Lance and I are here today with Christine Shelton. And she is the workforce liaison with the Elizabethtown Community and Technical College. And they've had some exciting things happening and some more exciting things happening this summer. Yeah, Christine, so um, I hear that you have a, a program over there that um, is maybe you all found a unique way to utilize your resources to help out with some of the PPE demands and uh, and how they're helping service, how you all are helping service small businesses and, and our membership. Okay, well first, thanks for having me on this morning. Um, I love the partnership that ECPC has with Bardstown. Uh, we, we love you guys and all the great things that you do. Um, yes, we have uh, partnered with um, UK Extension Office. Brent Doty, our CAD instructor at the college, has been so gracious to make the bands for face shields. So obviously we have a huge demand for PPE in, in all areas. Um, so this was ECTC's way to try to help. So early on, um, they uh, created the plan to make the face shields. Uh, Brent Doty um, has been not only 
teaching online five classes, but in his spare time making these face shields. Um, he's able to produce about 100 to 125 a week. Um, then he takes those bands to uh, the extension office and they actually install the shields. Um, several of us in the college have uh, volunteered our time to help you know, clean up the bands. There's several steps to it. And right now we have um, over 700 orders. Wow. Wow, 700 orders of the face shields. Of the face shields. That is amazing. And so how many people are involved in this process? Not very many. Well, Brent Doty's the star player. Uh, in fact, he was one of the employees of the month. Uh, imagine that, you know, he stepped up to the plate and has really offered his time above and beyond and we appreciate um, what he's done. So, um, but yeah, the, the UK Extension Office does the shields and, and we have a few volunteers that help uh, not only with the process, but also delivering the face shields. So one of the things we, we have, um, and you all have been such great partners with us, and this is a four series class. Um, the cost is only $100 for all four classes. They are going to be focused around workforce communication. Now these classes were supposed to be uh, in the classroom setting in person, which we might be able to do later on in the year. We'll see how the world uh, is working uh, when we get to that. But right now we're gonna go ahead and offer them online. And so Christine, can you tell us a little bit about the classes that we're partnering together to offer? So this series of, of classes, we're, we've called it Workforce Communications 2020. Uh, we have four classes that will begin in July, July 9th. These classes run 9 a.m. till noon. Uh, and like Lisa said, the, the classes were uh, to be in person. So we'll just have to see how all this plays out. Um, obviously, we'll be able to offer those um, online. Um, but the first class beginning July the 9th is Communication Strategies. Um, August 13th, Critical Thinking. Uh, September the 10th is Time Management. And then October the 8th is Conflict uh, Resolution. So the four classes are designed, intertwined, if you will. Um, it, it's a, a better impact for the student if they take all four. Um, and our instructor will also be assigning um, some exercises to make sure you come back to the next class. They all, all the classes work together for a common goal to have your business, your industry, um, with just better communication. And now more than ever, it's gonna be very important as we all phase back into work, communication is gonna be key. Um, these classes I think will absolutely assist with that. Yeah, that's that's kind of exactly what, I, what my thoughts were on that. It seemed like those four topics, although applicable under normal circumstances, they seem to be extremely applicable under these, circum these unique circumstances. Extremely important when you think about uh, not only communications, but time management um, and then, you know, conflict resolution. There's going to be several topics that we're all going to face. Um, and um, I, I think these will be, be very good for. Christine, can you kind of tell us maybe um, who would be the, the most ideal, you, you referenced them as students, the most ideal student for these types of classes? It's really for anybody, you know, I mean, not only for our businesses and industry. Um, sometimes I think we sometimes leave out the, the small business or the folks that work from home, but the situations that we're going to face, um, everyone would benefit from these classes. It could be entry level employees. I mean, this could encompass a whole lot of, of frontline front line management because it's, it's going to affect us all. So I think all levels. And then, and then ECTC is doing something this summer that's really exciting. Um, and this, uh, tell us a little bit about that. I am so super excited about these classes. We are offering free, I don't want to, 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 um, still what still a commercial but free 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 but free classes from ECTC um, starting uh, actually this month registration uh, begins uh, actually started this week but the classes start May the 11th and they run until June 19th um, I'm going to give you a list of the classes but not only are they free but you will earn college credit 
You'll get one credit hour for each class. Um, you can register online or, or you can call 270-706-8700. The classes are Electrical Principles, Change Management, Managing Workplace Anxiety, I think will be key. Mm -hmm. uh, income Taxes, you can do it. Everybody is Beautiful. Uh, stress management and the CDL permit test prep. Uh, that class, you know, we uh, ECTC offers CDL course. Uh, this class is just getting um, prepped and ready for the written test. Uh, but all of these are, are just great classes, and we are so happy to offer these free of charge. You know, I and think uh, too that CDL mentioning that CDL. Um, what comes to mind on that too, Lisa, is that you know, out of our um, the, the groups that we've put together for the talent pipeline management system, one of the top industry sectors obviously is construction. And what came out of that was their need for, for CDLs. And so, um, you know, again, it's ECTC being great community and regional partners with us and adjusting their class offerings, course offerings to, um, reflect the need to meet the need of our regional workforce initiatives. So again, kudos to you all on that. It sounds like you got a great lineup. And again, free is, is always good, right? Always good. Right. And I'm glad to see registration started uh, this week and we already have, I, I'm going to, of course, I'm sure the number has changed since our meeting this morning, but around 20 have enrolled. So I really encourage people to take advantage of the free classes. And, you know, we have some people right now that may be laid off or, hours reduced. This is a perfect time to take advantage of free classes, but to earn college credit is, is pretty awesome. And Absolutely. there's something for everybody, it sounds like. There is. There is. Yeah. So again, if, uh, to register, uh, just go on to ECTC website, Workforce Solutions. Uh, the application is there, the information is there, or you can always call 270-706-8700. Well, thank you for your partnership and we look forward to um, promoting those free classes and um, also for the classes that we're going to do together as a partnership. So we're really excited. So thank you for, for joining us. Lisa, I'm going to close this out. That's a take. <laughs>